Well, I think the one thing that discipline definitely does help you with is it, it helps you get things done. And when you get things done, when you, you, you actually do things, you, 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 you have more success. If you have more success, and sometimes a, a big part of success is just not being fucking lazy and just doing it. Yeah. Just get, that's like 90% of it is just showing up. Get there and start working. Like, you're not going to feel perfect every day. If I felt, if I only worked out when I felt good, I'd be a fat fuck. Because there's a lot of days I don't want to do it. I mean, it's pretty much the same with everybody that that actually gets good at something. That you you get there's got to be those days you push through, and they're they're probably going to be more numerous than the days you don't. And so the benefit of discipline in my eyes has always been that through discipline I get things done. One of the big problems is sitting down and doing the work, and you you got to and Pressfield talks about that. It, it, in the most concise and beautiful way and he labels it like an enemy he calls it resistance mm -hmm. you know and that you have to sit down you have to overcome resistance and that the pro goes to work and it doesn't matter if you're sick doesn't matter if you have kids it doesn't matter what you you're a pro and you go to work and that and that just it puts it in your head that this is what i do this is what and you have pride in that and then when you are in front of that keyboard and you're you're you got you look down the count it says i got a fucking thousand words today you're doing the work yeah. and out of that work gems blossom yeah. little things but you might have a day where you just write nothing but dog shit so what show up again tomorrow and tomorrow out of that dog shit a flower will emerge you never know and that's the only way to develop real like to to really develop your potential 100 percent in anything this idea that life is hard is something you're supposed to shield from them. It's so silly. And, you know, I've had this conversation with my friends because uh, everybody that I know that's interesting had a fucked up life. But, but now we have kids, and the last thing we want is our kids to have a fucked up life. So we put our kids in these good schools, we live in these nice neighborhoods, everybody eats healthy, and there's no fucking domestic violence, and everybody seems, it's, it's so different than all of our lives. And we were talking about it, me and Brian Callum were actually talking about it, like, look, we all had fucked up childhoods, and everybody we know had fucked up childhoods, and they're all interesting. But I don't want my kids to be boring, but I also want them to be safe. <laughs> so it's like, how do you how do you approach that? I mean, I think you get involved. This is what I've chosen to do is get my kids involved in martial arts and 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 uh, and give them the opportunity to pursue difficult things and understanding that through pursuing these difficult things, like in accomplishing stuff, like you you learn something about yourself. You learn that you have this ability inside of you to overcome. Get obsessed with life improvement. Find things that you enjoy doing that are difficult. Do them and get better seems so simplistic. It seems like a ridiculous, idealistic point of view, but it's effective.